everyone, it's me Jenny from your Health Matter channel and in our today's video, we will talk about tinnitus and your brain. But before we start, please consider to subscribe in our channel so you will not miss our new videos to come. Could tinnitus or hearing loss means that your brain is in trouble? You have to watch this video to see what is really happening inside the brains of the people that have hearing loss or tinnitus. In spite of popular belief, hearing loss or tinnitus has more to do with your brain instead of your ears. And these are the first sign that something more dangerous like dementia or Parkinson's could be in your future. Tinnitus is a common condition characterized by the perception of sounds without an identifiable external source. It is often referred to as ringing in the ears, but it can take the form of various perception of sounds, including swooshing, clicking, buzzing, whistling, and hissing. Tinnitus is usually a symptom of an underlying medical condition such as age-related hearing loss, circulatory system problem, or ear trauma. There is no cure for the condition, but treatment focuses on managing the symptoms and treating the underlying conditions. Tinnitus and the brain Many studies have shown that tinnitus has negative effects on the brain. Tinnitus can make the brain more attentive. Though it sounds positive, in the long term it can negatively impact the brain. In a study, they found that chronic tinnitus has been linked to changes in certain network in the brain. These changes make the brain more attentive and less relaxed. In a person with tinnitus, the brain focuses more on the ringing or buzzing sound, preventing him to go into default mode. The brain would always be attentive, leading to mental fatigue. Yes, you heard it right, tinnitus causes mental exhaustion. And the condition is worse in people with chronic tinnitus. The brain is not designed to be focused or attentive all the time. So, it needs ample time to relax and rest. You have to keep in mind that sleep, meditation, relaxation, and study breaks are essential to help the brain recover. The exact cause of tinnitus is still unclear, but the most common condition linked to its development include ear cell damage, age-related hearing loss, impacted ceremony, prolonged exposure to loud noises, changes in ear bones, head or neck injuries, and intake of some medicines. Other causes include eustachian tube damage, ear infection, traumatic brain injury, diabetes, acoustic neuroma, and Meniere's disease. That's all for today guys, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and if you have any further question, please write on the comment section and click the link below under description to help you find effective solution for your hearing loss or tinnitus. Thank you and have a nice day.